watch it on video but I'm going about two miles down the highway I have my shotgun strapped to the outside of my pack on my back man you wouldn't believe how quickly drivers learn to pass on the other side of the road it's amazing you know Colorado is open carry I might just ride with this all the time the first car that passed me slowed down to like probably 25 or 30 and went all the way to the other side of the road it was amazing Kerr Gulch Road, well, Kerr Gulch BLM area, Kerr Gulch Road on BLM area, and uh, I'm about to, this is like a two mile ride down the highway from my house, or from my road, um, five miles, or yeah, about five miles from my house, and I'm going to ride up here a couple of miles, um, this road's a little bit too rough for my Subaru in general. And I know about a mile up, mile and a half up, I'm going to encounter um, some pretty nasty mud and it's pretty steep. I put the gears on my single speed for this. Um, with Axis, it's super easy to swap back and forth between this and single speed. And I did that so I could better regulate my body temperature on the way in. Um, also standing and climbing with a gun bonking you in the back of the head is difficult um, but that's just how it mounts on this pack for now. Be getting a new one sometime soon. Um, yeah so nice little ride up. I'm gonna ride in so I had a drainage that is parallel to this road. Um, and about a mile that way and I'm gonna ride towards it as much as I can though at some point I will run into so much snow unpacked snow and mud that I'll probably just park the bike lock it up and hike from there all right I made it um, I don't know not even really a quarter maybe a quarter mile into this uh, non-motorized area that takes me to the drainage for a squirrel hunt and um, the snow is it's it's pretty stiff but it is packed uh, or it's not very packed um, it's just got potholes in it from people hiking on it so I'm going to lock my bike up in the trees over here and hike the rest of the way because it goes downhill here for half a mile and then it goes back uphill uh, a little bit and on the way back out I don't want to have to hike a bike this whole thing so uh, yeah I could definitely get down it but getting back up it would be pretty difficult so locking up uh, putting some uh, changing my layers around and getting going sorry I uh, didn't turn the camera on but it happened very quickly I called a little bit and this little dude ran out to see what the commotion was. I went about 50 yards away from where I just shot and um, see how there's lots of foliage and stuff on the ground under this tree. I'm going to be quiet here for a, a few minutes and then my call is just a cutting noise that I make with my mouth like this. And it seems that it makes them want to see who's out here eating without them. Alright, I'm going to head back to my bike. It is maybe 10 after 4. It's starting to get real cold. 
like a dumbass, I left my puffy coat and my buff back at my bike. So I am colder than I should be. So this is um, loading the gun up. Um, first, unload. Check it. I just had two shells in there. Um, I don't have as much. I'm wearing some of my clothes out that I had packed in the bag on the way in because I've got about two and a half miles of going downhill before I get to the highway and then climb back up, ride a couple of miles, climb back up to my house. So I've got this uh, sling that I bought off the internet. It's not made for this bag, obviously, but it works. Um, so I just used some of this stuff that's on the bag to attach it. Pretty easy. And then use a ski strap from Solida Mountain Sports to attach it up here at the top. Um, I kind of try to bias it to one side, but it, it doesn't work that great. It's not a perfect system for sure. And it works a lot better with more clothing in there. Hopefully when I get back to my road and I'm going to climb the three miles up to my house, um, at that point I can shed some of this stuff and kind of pack it right in the top of the pack here. And that will make it, that will space it out from my helmet some and keep it from uh, from bonking me in the back of the helmet for the 20-25 minutes it'll take to get up to my house. <laughs> 